vitamin C. Yes, that's how I say it. I'm not gonna tell you why to use it. If you've come to this video, then you probably already know why you want to use it. I will list down below many of the people who have been resources for me. Dr. Dre, Dr. David Lin, Angie from Hot and Flashy. These are some YouTubers who have been super helpful for me and my skincare game. I've determined that vitamin C is something that I want in my skincare routine. So the big question was mainly between two, Timeless and Maylove. The reasoning, they both have pretty much the ingredients that I'm looking for based on the research provided by those experts that I'll list down below. And they're both within the same price range. Today, I'm gonna tell you which one I pick is my favorite and why. First, let's go into Timeless. This retails for $25.95 for one ounce of product. This contains 20% vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. I don't know anything about skincare. I have no degree in this or anything like that. I'm just a concerned consumer. So I know that this is the combination of things that need to be together to give me the best product. They have a first time purchaser code of 20% off. It's welcome 20 if you're interested. So I bought this for a total of $20.76. They also have free shipping. It's my understanding that they offer Often have some kind of deal. They even had a deal for Mother's Day recently that was 50% off. If it wasn't for the instability of vitamin C, I probably would have stocked up on this product, but this is not the kind of thing that you stock up on. It has a pretty short shelf life. Which brings me to my next thing about Timeless, the container. It's opaque. I do enjoy pretty much everything about this container. It's easy to find, easy to see. A lot of my skincare is in little vials and droppers. Hard to see, especially for me wearing glasses and I'm pretty blind without them. I'm scrabbling around and I've always been scared of like accidentally grabbing my retinol back when I was using the ordinary retinol in a little dropper instead of something else like my caffeine eye cream and putting that under my eyes. So the fact that this is very distinctive, very easy to see and very easy to grab regardless of any dexterity limitations. Snaps on, you know it's on, you're good to go. These are things I really like about this. Which brings me also to things that I don't like about this. I don't like that it's fully opaque. I can't see how much liquid is in here. Even if I hold this up to the light, I have no real idea. I can slash it around and sort of get an understanding, but I don't really know how much is in here. Also, when I pour this out, when I squeeze this out onto my hands, I can't see anything. I can't see what color it is. I mean, I can go by sort of what tinge my fingers look like, but it's really hard to tell. And it seems very important about vitamin C to be able to tell what color it is so you know if it's gone bad yet. There's no way to tell with this. Additionally, when I squirt this out, if I if I squirt it out that way, it's a lot better. If I squirt it out this way, it runs down the bottle and I get what seems to be a little bit of like calcification or granular stuff that's forming around the rim. Really user error, but it's kind of a particular product. The main thing that bugs me is that I have no idea how much is in here and I don't know if it's still good. Maylove the Glow Maker. This is $27.95 and I paid $27.95. They have free shipping and free returns, which is awesome, but I don't think that I found any kind of discount code. I typically try to, and when I looked at my order, there was no discount, so I believe that I probably couldn't find one, or maybe I was just lazy, but I'll let you know in the description box if there is one, but at this time, I don't believe so. With the free shipping and returns, it felt pretty comfortable purchasing from this, and knowing that if I wasn't satisfied with the product, then I could return it. This is a one ounce product that contains 15% of vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, vitamin E, ferulic acid, and what they call a proprietary blend of a couple things, aloe and something else. The statement that they made about it is that it's good under makeup. I'm assuming the blend helps with some sort of absorption or something like that. This also contains hyaluronic acid, which I don't particularly care about because it's in every single skincare product that I use, and I already have it in my routine. The things that I don't like about this. I don't like that this is in the same dropper bottle that everything else I have is. Everything that I have from the ordinary is in this kind of bottle. Granted, the bottle cap is black. The ordinary, I believe, is all white. But when I can't see without my glasses on, I can't always tell what the bottle cap is. It's very, very hard to find, as opposed to this. And I would love to pretend that I'm the kind of person that has a super organized counter or super organized space next to the shower, bath in my case, but I don't. I'm in chaos all the time, and 
and most of that time I can't see what I'm doing. So I need things to be easy to find. This is not very easy to see. The reason that I purchased the Timeless, I purchased this one first, then purchased the Timeless, was because I knocked this over. That's another problem. When you open up the product and you wanna take it out and use it, you then have this hazard sitting somewhere because you're either holding it and dropping it on your face and then rushing because the stuff is dripping in your eyes or whatever, or you're placing this on a counter somewhere, not able to see properly, dropping it on your face and then smushing it over. It's a little hazardous. So I knocked this over, I lost a whole bunch of the product, I was really, really bummed, and I bought the Timeless. Things about this packaging that I do enjoy, it is only semi-opaque. I can absolutely see how much of the product is in here. Not to blind you, but I'll turn on the flashlight on my phone and you can see the level of the product behind there. That's about how easy it is for me to see it when it's uh, not being held up in front of a camera. So that's great. I also ended up liking the dropper. I hated this, I was so mad at it. I was really excited to get the timeless and to have this easy to use, easy to find easy to squirt out container but then I really missed being able to see the liquid because as you'll see right here this is expired that is what expired vitamin C liquid looks like there's no question that this is expired I know oh god I, th I thought I just squirted it out but it dropped in the back of this that would have been bad <laughs> I know this is ready to throw away and this is done I don't know that about the timeless now you would hope that you're going through this product quickly enough that it's not having a chance to expire but I don't think you can necessarily be sure of that and it's just it doesn't make me feel comfortable for a product that I use on my face to be a mystery I have no idea what's going on in there and I guess I can drip it on my hand and watch it as it drips but half the time I'm doing it without my glasses on without my glasses on I can absolutely see that this is yellowy orange I can I can see that I can bring it out to my face that wouldn't be the case with the tiny little drop so as much as this packaging pisses me off, I prefer this to the Timeless. If this was semi-opaque, I would be blissfully happy. I would use this forever and ever and ever. I might still use it anyways and just be okay with not knowing because the container is so excellent. But then again, this is plastic, this is glass, this will be reusable, this will not be. So that's a big concern. Now, in regards to the formula, I prefer Maylove. There's something about it I'm not going to use it now, obviously, because it's expired and I'm not really sure what that does to your skin, but this might be their proprietary blend. There's something about it that's just a bit more silky. It's a little bit more oily. For me, with my desperately dry skin, I just, I find this just a tiny bit more pleasant. Even rubbing it between my fingers, I still feel like a slight residual oiliness. It feels just a little bit more moisturizing. This is still excellent. They, they feel extremely similar, but this definitely feels a little bit watery in comparison just a little if I rub this between my fingers I feel it dispersing a little more quickly this feels oily too though it's hard to not want to use this stuff like I'm so used to putting it in my fingers and then putting it on my my forehead this also does feel oily so perhaps it is that see isn't that interesting during a comparison you learn things too so it could be that this is 20% and this is 15% from my understanding optimal levels of vitamin C and in, in a product like this is anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. I can't seem to find details about which is better, 15 or 20, beyond the fact that 20 might be aggravating for someone with sensitive skin. So I'm wondering if perhaps that's why I might notice this to be a little more hydrating, is that they both have the same mixture of things, but perhaps, perhaps this is just a little more annoying for my skin. That could be the case. I of course would like to just go right in with a product that is the strongest, if I can handle it, but that's not always necessary. If this is a pleasant thing to experience, it's a pleasant thing to use, I'm going to willingly use it much more reliably with greater consistency without having any issues. So now if I feel between my fingers, it really does feel similar. I thought that the Maylove felt oilier, but I, it really might be the harshness of that extra 5% of vitamin C. So just by doing this review, I've kind of like thrown myself, but I think that I do prefer the formula of this may love the glow maker just a tiny bit. I prefer that I can see the product and that I know what state it's in. I very much prefer the experience of using this packaging, but I don't like not knowing what the product looks 
inside and what state it's in. When I finish this up, I'm gonna buy May Love the Glow Maker, but when I'm done with this, I might buy this again. They're both excellent products, but now you know my pros and cons for them, and you can make an educated decision on your own. Like I said before, I am just a consumer who likes to be informed as much as I can be. I've gained a wealth of information from a bunch of people that I found on YouTube to be extremely helpful, and I've listed them down below. If vitamin C is a product that you're interested in using, I encourage you to do some of your own research. Not being an expert, I don't feel comfortable sharing any recommendations in what you should do for you you and your own skincare. That said, I do feel okay sharing my opinion on something that I use for my skincare. And I've really enjoyed using both of these products. And I enjoyed making this video. If you liked this video too, if it was helpful to you in any way, please do give it a thumbs up. Stick around and subscribe while you're here and hit that notification bell. If you have any experience with either of these products or with any other vitamin C product, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to know about your experiences and I'm sure other people would too. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you and thanks for hanging out.